All right, welcome back to another video, everyone. So, I'm pretty excited for this video because um, in the last video, which I actually haven't even put together yet, I tried to take apart these pumps because I have four pumps. I had four skis. I'm taking apart all the pumps to just kind of see what I have and maybe use the best pump housing with like the best impeller if I have an aftermarket impeller, which I do, and we'll get into that in a minute. But, so I tried yesterday, tried, and I sheared off my breaker bar, and I sheared off my adapter for the socket that I had to get, and I used heat, and I soaked the thing in PB Blaster. Well, I'll come back out here today, and it's like almost, it's like two o'clock, 2.30 right now, but I've been out here for like an hour, and I finally, I, I got, so, so far I have two of them apart. And I'm, I'm pretty happy just because like I've never taken this stuff apart before. So it's a good learning experience, but I'll show you guys what I got. So the first one that we've got is um, the Scat Track 5. This might be the actual only aftermarket. And then we have this other one and it's a Solus Supra and it's a KA-SC Oh, it's not focusing. KA-SC-A, there it goes. So, my plan was, I was only gonna take apart like the worst two, which one of them was frozen, and one of them, the veins are just like chunked right out, like it sucked up some massive rocks. Well, like I said, I think I am just decided, I'm gonna take all four of them apart, so I have two more left to take apart, and I think I'm just gonna take all of them apart, to see what I've got, buy a rebuild kit, and I'm just gonna rebuild the best pump housing, new bearings and everything, and then put the best impeller that I have in. I don't really think I'm gonna order an impeller because they're super expensive and I'm really trying to keep this ski uh, build right back there. I'm really trying to keep this build somewhat close to a budget. So, um, I don't know. That's what I'm doing so far and I'm excited I've already gotten two of them apart. So the next two should hopefully be somewhat easy and we will see what I get when I get them apart. So like I said, I was planning on just taking apart the worst ones out of the four that I have. So I wasn't gonna take this one apart at all. And come to find out, if I would've just taken this one apart first, I probably would've been better off because I, I didn't spray this one, I didn't use any heat on this one, and it, it literally I don't even know if it was torqued, honestly, to spec. So this one's obviously been apart before, so that's good. At least we know now this one's been apart, and I'm excited to see what prop is in this one. I'm assuming it's the same as that one over there, but we will find out in a minute. All right, so I ended up being wrong. I assumed that this was just gonna be the same as this Solus um, that came out of this pump, or came out of one of them pumps over there. And this is not a Solus, it appears to be a Jetlin, so I'm gonna have to do some research on this. And I know that it's been off because you can see the sanding marks on the edge of this. So, but there's no pitch stamp or anything, it just says Jetlin. Well, I guess there's a serial number. So I'll have to check out, I'll have to do a quick search on the old Google and see if I can figure out what pitch this might be. But that's definitely interesting. So one more prop to go, and then, yeah, we'll see if this is the same or if it's aftermarket. All right, so I guess that's gonna be the end of this video, uh, and I'm gonna order a rebuild kit. I pretty much decided that this is probably gonna be my best option as far as which one to rebuild. I did also, I do have to show you this real quick. Um, where is it? If you look in here, you're not gonna be able to see it on the camera, but maybe you will. Basically right here, I guess you can kind of see it. This vein is cracked, so I'm gonna, I'm just gonna say that this one's not good. You could probably run it like that. You could maybe even put some JB Weld on it. I'm not gonna do that because I obviously have two more to choose from. So, yeah, I'm gonna, well, I probably will take this fitting out and then I'm gonna just pick 
obviously one I think like I said I think this is probably the best one out of the two that one looks like I think this was out of the X2 and it looks like it has a lot of salt which isn't a huge deal obviously it can be cleaned up I don't know how that bearing is going to come out of there but yeah I probably just end up rebuilding this one and then I did figure out so this is a Jetlin and I did google it and it sounds like it's a 16 and a half pitch then we have this is a straight 15 and then this was like a 13 18 i think or something so i don't know i have to learn more about like what is going to be the best pitch for me to run with the mods that i have which is going to be that pipe pgs water box and an spn 44 carb so i have to do a little bit more research before i uh, get a pump back in my, into the ski and I want to get everything set up and then put it in so like I said that's gonna be on the video once I figured out how to take part one of them this ended up just going really smoothly so it ended up being not that long of a video but I hope you guys have been enjoying the content and I'm trying to put out some more videos more frequently as weather gets nicer so here comes court all right, so that's gonna be the end of the video. Um, I'm trying to think of what I went over. I realized I kind of didn't really film an outro because Courtney showed up from because she had to work today and she kind of distracted me when she got home because the dog was going nuts. But uh, I pulled apart all these pumps, four pumps, four props. We've got two Solus props, a Jetlin, and a Scat Track. Uh, the Scat Track pump or the Scat Track impeller, unfortunately, though, is junk. I don't know if you guys can see. Okay. I don't know if you can see how bent that is. I think it's this blade right here. That's just super bent. I don't know if it's something that's fixable. Or I'm trying to think which one. I don't know. They kind of all look bent to me, to be honest. But yeah. Well, that was probably junk. So I'm probably going to end up using possibly this Jetlin. Cause it really looks pretty good and you can see the sanding marks on it or do I use one of these Solus props? I don't know. I, I have to do more research and see what pitch I need to run. I believe this is like a 16 and a half pitch Jetlin based on the number that I found on an old form on the internet. So I don't know if that would be good for what I'm going to be putting in the ski, but I'll make another video. This isn't the last video on the pumps because I'm still going to order a rebuild kit, rebuild one of these pumps, and then I might end up, I don't know if I could sell this prop. Maybe somebody wants it. It's a scat track. They don't even make impellers anymore, but yeah, that's the end of the video, so thank you guys for watching, and I'm really excited that I was able to get all of them apart. Didn't break anything, so... Yeah, it went well, and I learned something new, and you guys got to see. So if you have any questions, let me know. Drop a like, hit the subscribe button if you're new, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.